Innovative. It's about that time again. It's your boy, the promo king himself. Product five stacks and counting. And you know how I get out of the five video. But um, you know what it is. You see this right here in the middle. So that must mean it is the innovative culture. Black owned liquor review. Yeah. I've been wanting to bring this back for quite a while now. Um, I actually, I was blessed with this bottle, but I'll get into that in a minute. But we're here right now. Um, I wanted somebody special to sip this with me. So I brought aboard one of the main cats, one of the top cats at Innovative Culture, which is a production company that just sources so many people and, and, and helps a lot of up and coming creators, content creators to get to where they need to be. Um, I welcome Cool Ass Cam. How you doing, man? Thank you yeah. for having me. Oh, man. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited today. Uh, we get the car from, but we also get to, you know, put a, our seal on it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let everybody know how we feel. Yeah, the most important thing to me when I do this is that I showcase and highlight um, key terms with this bottle. The the black owned aspect of everything I do with the business. That's right. Um, and that's why. The, this is very special to me. Shout out to Charles Woodson and his people down at Woodson Whiskey. Um, I've actually got the opportunity to review some of their uh, some of their bourbon before, and when I tell you it's delicious, it goes down smooth, and you wake up in the morning on hangover, but you partied the night before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Hey man, so um, he actually um, I, they reached out to me, decided to say, hey man, we got a new uh, flavor coming out. We want you to check it out. I said, of course, man. I review it. Okay. So uh, they shipped it to me, and this is the Highs Man, <laughs> Highs Manhattan. You know, this is the Highs Manhattan bourbon and vermouth. This is right here, man. I'm looking at it, and I'm already feeling woozy. I feel like I'm gonna pass out right now. We, we're gonna find out what this is all about. Uh, the interesting thing about this uh, this uh, whiskey here. Uh, it's bourbon whiskey uh, mixed with made with vermouth. Um, it's made by the in-house vermouth by Wilson Whiskey, and it is aged in a French oak Cabernet barrels. All right, Cabernet is wine, so you got your little infusion, little right. You know what I mean? I yeah. see a lot more of that with alcohol now, and I think that uh, the best of both worlds. Yeah, the best of both worlds definitely, and I definitely think that uh, that Wilson Whiskey is ahead of the curve of what they're trying to do here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to review. This bottle. That's the fun part. All okay. right. Um, we're gonna crack it open, and we're gonna pour ourselves a drink, and then we're gonna pour ourselves another drink, and then another drink, and so on and so forth until we we know when we don't reach that limit. You know what okay. I'm saying? All right. Now we rate um, drinks here on the Black on Liquor Review by three factors. Okay. Three you factors. have taste, of course. All right. Does it you know? Does it go down smooth? Is it, is it the sweet taste? Is it bitter? We're gonna get into that. All right. And a lot of infusions in this, so I really think that it's gonna be. Very beneficial to talk about what's inside of that, right? Right. Okay, uh, for two, sipability. Sipability is key. You're like, what is sipability? Sipability is like, hey, do we want to take shots of this and pound this? Or is this something that we got to drink slow because we might end up on our ass if we're not careful? Right. 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 Okay, all right. And number three is my favorite, and it's going to be yours. It's the smack factor. The smack all right? Factor. The smack factor. That is, man, how drunk is this going to get me is this gonna knock me on my behind or is this just gonna be a head change and then i'm off to other things right right okay so we're gonna find that out so we're gonna, we're gonna crack the bottle open i'm gonna let you do the honors who cool ass can okay Ooh, that's been straight up for here yeah very nice a lot of work boy. yeah a lot of work going into that shit right here man that's crazy. Right. So we're going. Yeah, you're going to sit, man. Go ahead and grab those cups right there. And once again, the Heinz Manhattan whiskey, whiskey bourbon made with vermouth. Very own house vermouth from Woodson's Whiskey. Okay. The reason for the name Heinz Manhattan is a play on the situation with Charles Woodson being the only defensive player to win the Heisman. Wow, that's a yeah. fun NFL yeah. fact. Yeah, I, I learned it because I read the bottle. It's just, <laughs> no, it's just... 
on my brain a little bit. Let's well, check it out. Okay, let's let's see. Oh wait, wait, we gotta toast it. We gotta toast. Hey, to damn. Let's see. Hey, we gotta toast. Hey, to damn. Shit, to good living. Good living. And what's his whiskey? And what's his whiskey? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's smooth. That's smooth. Okay. Yeah, so already feeling the hints of it. It's a sweet taste. Get it over the tonsils and then it just goes it's down. It's very smooth. smooth though, you know, it's it's not overpowering. No. So, I mean, I already know the story of innovative culture. Can you tell me? A little bit love to the people, a little bit about innovative culture and just how it started out and you were punch. Alright, um innovative culture definitely um it, it, it was a child, you know, it was like a baby waiting to be born. There it is. That's what I would say. There it is. Um, you know, Punch was already doing the FMAD podcast, mm -hmm. uh doing uh shows just recording wherever you could record. Right, 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 right. At right. this point, I hadn't watched the podcast yet. I didn't know what a podcast was, really. The first podcast I ever really watched was like Drink Champs. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to get into. I mean, so then Punch, like, invite me to, you know, it's brought me like, yeah. uh, come be on my podcast. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, your podcast? You got yeah. a podcast? Yeah. So I go from one to fuck. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Let's say. One fucking second, I am one sh shot in, and it's already kind of just a whoosh. Like, it's like a wave hits your brain, right? And I'm not even, I'm not even getting, man, okay, okay. The highest Manhattan, uh, Woodson's Whiskey, made with their very own house of vermouth. Aged in oak Cabernet bottles. Barrels, excuse me. I'm gonna leave it. Oak Cabernet. That's what it oh. tastes like, too. Oh, yeah. So... I want to know, you do so many things. I mean, if you had to choose one of these things that you do, whether it's the production or the, the being in front of the microphone, podcast, whatever, have you, rap it too, what would you do ideally if you knew that you could live off of it for the rest of your life? I don't like to limit myself. I don't want to just put myself in a box. I feel like I only wear one hat. Uh huh. Oh, I've been a uh -huh. chef for ten years, eleven years. Man. Like I, I try to make it to where I can do it all. I've been out on construction site job sites, doing construction jobs. I've been in the warehouse. I've been in the restaurant. Uh -huh. You know, it's like why are you gonna limit yourself to one way of living? Oh, uh, why limit yourself? <laughs> really, why limit yourself? I mean, you know, yeah. you have the talents to get out and do something. Get out and do it. That's real. Yeah. We, you know, if anybody feel a certain type of way about you, you know, achieving something, something That's wrong real. with them. <laughs> That's real. Well, That's no doubt. I, have you ever? What's the what's the craziest outtake could, during that's happened with uh, since you've been doing the podcast and like where everything seemed okay and then out of nowhere all hell broke loose. Man, it's hard to just narrow down one because uh -huh. <laughs> shit happens every day. You know, you never know what it's gonna get to because right. you're dealing with people and you're dealing with personality. That's real shit. <laughs> That's real shit. So every day somebody got something going on. Oh yeah. And then you know, but you never know what you're gonna get, you know. But touchdown. Yeah, it's hard to just put point one, but uh, I, I I just feel like I look forward to the good days, and I, I gotta take. The good with the bad. So whenever something bad do happen, you got to know something good coming right behind it. Absolutely, absolutely. Who are some people that have inspired you along the way? Uh, inspiration. And I was like, people like Snoop Dogg. You know, like yeah, I, I, I hate to sound cliche, but it's like you grow up and you listen to certain artists. You see their career. You see everything they've accomplished instead of just. You know, I don't just make music. I can go out here and act and make movies. I can be a brand ambassador for somebody's product. I, you know, I, I've done a lot to this point, you know, to where, yeah, I may just be getting started in one field, but I got a whole other network in other cities just because they know me for that. Yeah. No, I can dig it, man. Um, I think it's amazing what you and Punch are doing. 
you created like a, a, a community here, you know what I mean? And we all just kind of just, we all stick together. Yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. So, I'm done pouring that fucking bottle. Man. <laughs> I'm done pouring that bottle because it's, oh my goodness. I think it's time to go ahead and get to the ratings. All right, let's do it. Okay, so. Because I'm, yeah, I'm sipping. All I right. what it's making me do. <laughs> Man, on everything. So, the taste. On a scale of one to ten. The taste? Man, I, I really want to give it a ten. A ten? Okay. I really want, like I'm saying, it's a ten. I, it's no doubt about that because yeah. it's, it's flavorful. You know, um, like I said in the beginning, it's not overpowering. Yeah. Right. And a lot of times you get cheap liquor somewhere or something yeah, like that. And, yeah, that, and it's just it's, smack you in the face. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. can't handle that. You know, you can't it's drink. Real. Knowing that I can go out and get something like this, you know, I can just sit up and chill. And, yeah. You know, and not yeah. feel like, all right, I'm pounding to get fed or getting to a point where I need to get to. I'm going to get there and I'm right. just going to be able to have something left That's over when shit. I'm done. <laughs> this right here. This is my, my my New York woman. I like to name all my drinks a certain type of way. This is my New York woman right here because she, if you're not careful. part of New York she from? I'm, she from the Bronx, man. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, shit, she Puerto Rican, fuck you. <laughs> Puerto Rican from the Bronx. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And uh, the reason I say that is because, you know, she's a little, little darker skin, skin like bronze. She's sweet. She go down easy. But if you're not careful, should knock you on your ass. You know what I'm oh man. So, for me, taste, I'm gonna give it a 10. Solid. It's sweet, but it's not sweet to the point where you're like, oh my god, that's like, you know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't taste like a right mixed amount drink. of sweet. Exactly. You don't gotta drink it with nothing. No, you don't. You don't. Um, so, I'm gonna give it a 10. Um, next category is uh, stability. Sip it. Sip it. Okay. So I feel like the So we're not taking shots of it. We sip it. We sip it. Okay. Explain that. For me to enjoy the taste and the flavor, everything we just talked about in the first category. Yeah. You got to sip it. All right. Because when you take a shot, it's like you trying to take that shot and you trying to get to that point right away. Right. You trying to get smacked. But... You don't need that with this. Uh -huh. You need to just get you a cup, you know, get the, fill that cup up about halfway, and yeah. you sit up and yeah. you just sip that. Yeah, man. I, you know, this is Sunday, you know, yeah. all day afternoon brunch, all yeah, that. On you the know? Back porch. Yeah. Even maybe even I think since we will sip this, we could throw a little uh, iced tea in it, lemonade, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's iced your tea hard iced tea. Oh yeah, absolutely. You probably wouldn't have to mix it for a Long Island. Probably wouldn't even have to, you know what I'm saying? Like you just toss some of this shit in there. So oh, yeah. Um definitely. Um so yeah, sippability, I'm gonna get out of 10 as well. Now, my favorite category now yours. This is Mac Factor. Yeah, I think if we finish that bottom, we're gonna be smacked. Yeah, smacked. Smacked as fuck. Well, scale, scale of one to what you got. On the smack factor. It's it's a 10. It's all of that. Because I'm already feeling it. I feel good though. It's not like a bad buzz. Right. It's a good one. It's one where I feel relaxed. Right. Right. You just want to chill. Right. You know? Yeah. You drink some other alcohol, some other liquor, and it make you want to get up and, you know, do be mad at people. Make you want to do something to somebody. This you just cool. Yeah, man. On everything. <laughs> Look, the smack factor, I'm going to give this 175. 175 out of 10. Because me right now, Mr. Woodson, Woodson's Whiskey, I am top light. This shit is good. No, seriously. The, look, the highest Manhattan, man, Woodson's Whiskey, bourbon, mixed with their very own House of Vermouth, aged in oak barrels with Cabernet. And you can taste every bit of the flavor. It's an amazing product. You guys definitely got to tap in with it. Kim, we have to get us an overall score. I think we can both agree that we're going to get us a 10. Yeah, told, yeah, for sure. Bow, 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 bow. 10. Perfect 10. 
Woodsons, Woodson. <laughs> See? The highest Manhattan. Woodson's whiskey bourbon. With vermouth. With a vermouth. <laughs> Don't forget the vermouth. Aged in live oak Cabernet barrels. It's amazing. You can get it on that website. You can find it. I'm too fat. He's going to put it at the bottom here. Okay? Yeah, it's going to be on the it's drop down. It'll be right there. Make sure y'all go to the link. Yeah, go to the link. Check this shit out. This has been your boy that always shine. And keep the promos right on time. That's right. The promo king himself. Right up. Five stacks and counting. And this has been the Black on Liquor Review. Stay tapped in. Innovative.